Hi there, welcome back to Ingvid with me, Benjamin, your teacher for today. Today we are going to be looking at phrasal verbs to talk about health, illnesses and sicknesses, helping you to talk about those things, whether you're coming to the UK for a visit or whether you're doing an IELTS speaking or you just want to be better generally at English with more phrasal verbs at your disposal. We are going to start today by playing an anagram game, just to get your mind thinking so that I know you're concentrating for the full duration of the video. A random muddle of letters that you must take letters from to create your own words. For example, let's start with I, and then you need to create another word from the letters. So maybe you want to start your next word with a T, then you'll probably want a vowel, so maybe a, oh, there's a P, I tap. Okay, I want you to have a go at this. You've got 30 seconds. Try and cross each letter off in your own mind after you use it, because each letter written there can only be used once. Give it a go. You have 20 seconds left. And 10. Wrapping it up now, trying to create some sort of phrase. Five, four, three, two, one. What did he come up with? Something good? Was it about health, which is today's lesson? I'll show you what I came up with. Not I tap, but I, P, now I don't relieve myself, but I use another E there, then another E. Redeem yourself, Benjamin, thank you. I peel, O, I have another L there, old, And I have an A here, a B there, an S there. Scab. If you fall over and hurt yourself, you might bleed. Your then skin um, heals itself and you will have what is called a scab. First word in today's health lesson. Let's learn some phrasal verbs. Well done. You made it back to the second part of the lesson. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven phrasal verbs here and a few more over there. I'm going to be putting this into the context of my impending, that means about to happen, impending. I'll write that down for you. My impending trip to India. I'm going there on Saturday. So, come down with. Um, so come just means, you know, going somewhere. But if you come down, um, down and up often reflect emotions in English. If you come down with something, it means you're coming, you're picking up some kind of illness. You become unwell. So you come down with means you get, you get sick. I hope that I don't come down with anything when I am there. So after the with, you list a general um, category or you specify what you are coming down with, a bug, an allergy. Okay. To be blocked up. The blockage is referring to the nose, okay? Because if you pick up a cold, then you will suddenly have lots of um, stuff in your nose. So you don't want to be blocked up, okay? To be blocked up. Um, I don't imagine that I will be blocked up because blocked up we think of more with colds, with being in a colder place. I, I'm not expecting to be blocked up when I am in India. Throw up, possibly, um, or bring something up. So throw and up this is a movement coming from your stomach, up, 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 and throw. 
throw up is to be sick. Hopefully not projectile vomiting. I better write that down as well. Pro projectile means throwing quite a long way. Um, it may be that I throw up if I get a stomach bug to bring something up. So you're bringing, it's like you're bringing a nice flower to give to someone, but you're not bringing up something very nice at all. In fact, it's quite unpleasant. Bring something up. You're bringing your food up. Um, to swell up. So this we can use to talk about the sea as well. Okay, when there are big waves, you say there's a big swell. It means something getting bigger. To get bigger. If I got bitten by a snake whilst I was in India, that part of my body would swell up. In the past tense, you would say it, something is swollen, swollen up. Okay, but because I have strong body, my body has defenses and my body is going to fight off any illnesses, okay? My immune system the immune system is your body's defense your body's defense my body is going to fight off any illnesses um you could also shake off okay shake dogs shake to get dry okay so if you shake off a bug you're saying Illness, no, 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 thank you. I'm okay, no bug for me, no disease for me. Um, to get over something, okay? So here is, here is my something. I'm going to get over it. The something, oh my goodness me, would you see that? A misspelling, bad Benjamin. Note for you to check out my video on praise and criticism. Slap on the wrist, Benjamin. Swollen has a double L. Um, right, get over something. So the something would be a, a disease if I became, um, or an illness, a sickness. If I got unwell whilst I was in India, I would need to get over it. I would need to get better, recover. To break out into. Um, so you could, to break means, you know, to smash something. Um, if I was to break out into a dance, it means everything's still, and then I break the stillness by suddenly dancing. But if I broke out into an illness, suddenly spots would start appearing on my face. To break out means to well, to, ch to, change, to change for the worse, really. It's a bad change. To put on weight. We know what weight is, it's something heavy. If I was to put on weight, if I was to eat lots and lots and lots of curries when I was in India, then weight on me, I go Okay, I would put on weight. Weight would get on me. To pack up, to pack up. So when you're leaving, yep, if you're leaving a place, you pack your suitcase, you put your clothes in your bag and off you go. It's the same with your body. If your body is tired and is fed up, it goes, that will be enough, thanks, Benjamin. I'm going to pack up now, okay? I've had enough. So to pack up means sort of give up, break. If your body packs up, it stops working properly. To pass out. Um, so out, we have this idea, uh, the preposition takes us away from something. Yep, the way out is through the exit. To pass out means if you, if you pass on something, you say, no, thank you, I'm fine. I'll pass. If you pass out, you're saying, ah, 
thanks, but I'm just gonna sort of fall asleep and fall over on the floor. Okay, pass out, ooh, bonk. Um, means to, it's, it's not fully unconscious, but it means to, um, to maybe to momentarily lose conscious in a sort of non-serious way. To come around. This actually happened to me when I was in India 10 years ago. I hadn't drunk very much water and I passed out. I then came around, I then sort of woke up again. I came around, I look around, okay? And um, so come around means to, to, to wake up again after passing out. So I'll just put wake. Um, to patch someone up. So if your clothes have a, have a hole in, um, most of mine do, today's shirt doesn't seem to have one. If my shirt had a patch, I would put something on top of it, like to cover up the hole. It's the same with your body, yeah? After I had passed out, I had hurt my chin. So the doctor needed to patch me up, put something there to put maybe a plaster to connect the skin together again, to heal it, to help it, okay? Let's think of Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Well, if they knew how to patch him up, they would have been able to put him back together again. Um, rather sad, this one, pass away, okay? So again, the idea of note, that's enough, away, off you go. Um, this is a way of saying to die. Um, so just put that there to end on a nice cheery note. Okay, thank you so much for watching today's video. My name's Benjamin. I love Ingvid. It's fun. Let's watch some more. See you on the next video. Bye.